Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to Danganronpa. Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we finished the prologue in which we met every single person here. We had... What did we have? We had Monokuma, who was the bear. He said, by the way, if you want to leave... Well, I can go ahead and read that. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Which is kind of causing a problem. Especially to Hifumi, which is the guy in the upper left corner. And mid left. Mid far left. Pompadour. Uh, nearly got blown up because he didn't follow the rules. But anyway, let's continue. My mind froze and my breath caught my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. It hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. I took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1 To Survive Daily Life Before as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you gonna do now? Uh, Kyoko, that's the, that's the, the one with the, the tall boots, up high, right around mid. Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other. When a comment was directed at everyone in the room. That helped pull some of us back to reality. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, what is it? Oh, the hall monitor? Right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you are nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> if you get such a simple act, I cannot forgive myself. I am so ashamed. Do you hear me? Please, someone hit me. I cannot forgive myself. Somebody hit me. But <laughs> the fuck? Huh? This is the guy whose face almost got blown up. Jesus. Maybe you have to yell about it. You have time to do something about it. However... And this is the ultimate fanfic writer that we want him to leave. Perhaps, but... What is the mission exactly? Stupid! This is baseball guy, who I don't think is gonna make it. Idiot. Move her way out, duh. What the...? And she gives me bad vibes. Fashionista girly. We can't have find a properly fitting shirt. And we totally need to find whoever's controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but... This is the program. A cutie pie, in their own right. Before we can all do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It'd probably be best to check out the school regulations. I want to come and measure before doing anything else. This is fine. And that's my girl! My girl, Celestia Ludenberg! She's the gambler though, so... We can't actually trust her. But I would love to. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. <laughs> they with the face rolling up. All right. So then. Fine. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Which Academy E handbook? Nayagi. After turning on my e handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. But just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. Those are school regulations. In other words, rules being imposed on us all. Students may only reside within the school. Even campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some errors are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Three. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and be punished accordingly. Four. 
with minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. Wait, so when we all passed out in the in the front hall, did that also count as sleeping in class? Cause like everybody needed some OJ. Five, violence against the headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Six, anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Unless they are discovered. So we have to make sure to like plan a perfect crime. <laughs> Number seven, additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raise my face from the screen. My guy, have a seat. Drink something. I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna look like a troll me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around school without care in the world to see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, if you got punished, like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. But ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And so uh What? I read a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! I can't afford to die here. <sighs> That makes me think you're not gonna make it, buddy. <laughs> Which really sucks, because you're kinda cool. And none of that made much sense to me. But are you saying you'll follow the regulations? Is that it? That's true. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, hey, I got a question. Yes, Miss Popstar. Regulation number six. What do you think it means exactly? Who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. We're talking about the second half, right? Versus unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. <laughs> oh, um, Ultimate Silver Spoon over here. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. <coughs> this is the Ultimate Rider. But why? Why do we have to do that? Hm. I don't see any reason to worry about it. We're ever following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. S shut up, Biakria. You make everything worse. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> oh, Togo! My oh my, girly! I'm so happy for you! Jab at me. Give me a break. Like a full on stab. Mm. And then here's Owie, she's the cutie. She's a swimmer. An ultimate swimmer. Well for now. Let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Mm. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Is it like a Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, I saw start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. Shut the fuck up, Yakuya. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, I think. Hm. Some of you might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst? And make it all much easier for them. Hold on a second. That would never. What? The brother's saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. You're kind of, not kind of. You are a dick. That's why you're all s seized up with fear when the graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um. What? <laughs> so I'm simply acting in accordance. With what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Oh, 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 oh no! No, 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 no. 
I'm gonna let you run off and uh, like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Have my way, Plankton. What? Shut up, Mr. Krabs. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One oh, tiny bit of Plankton, drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They could have possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. Do you know what plankton are, idiot? <laughs> you are so smart. You are the dumbest motherfucker. <laughs> what do you mean? You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it, we should what? fight. The fuck did you just say? Still got a goody too. Oh. Still got a goody goody little bitch. You wanna throw down? I do wanna throw down, Mondo. I really do. Who do you think you are, talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! Fuck you! He just punched me in the face. He punched me. And I flew back into a he- Oh, so it wasn't the face. It was probably like... Sternum down. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. Wait, he did punch- Do not punch the face. Rule. Do not punch the face. If you punch the face, you will, like, ruin your knuckles, okay? What you want to do, you want to do palm a hand. Preferably, like, the, the really fleshy part, so that way it doesn't hurt you as bad. The middle has more power, but the, but, like, the really fleshy part is going to be a lot less pain for you. And you are going to want to go in the nose, jam it to the brain. That's what you want to do. Don't punch people in the face. One second I was standing there. The next I was swimming through the air. I didn't think about it. Maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd be trapped here with. Common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I shouldn't be surprised to lie to something as absurd as this. I just lost track of the sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. But it finally cut out completely. Uh oh, we're gonna get in trouble for sleeping outside of our dorms. Oh no, I know, I know. We're gonna get a ding dong bing bong. I'm gonna finally open my eyes again. What I saw was. A paint roller? Hmm? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine. I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. But to one time unknown. Oh, it was just the background music is playing. That's awesome. Okay, so, where am I now? You have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use the menu to check the school regulations, character info, and the report card section. Certain points of map and truth bullets may not be available. But also save and load the- Yay! We have saves! Oh, you still in my heart! This is what I was waiting for! You can also save and load the game. Data under the system section. Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info. So use this to review comments from everyone involved. Alright, so F1. Okay, so map of truth bullets are no go. Presence. Report card. Regulations and si Okay, uh, and then. Still seven? Okay. Report card. This is not the order I met everybody in. Cause Celeste was like my first. It's not even alphabetical. Not by talent or by name. Show me more about Celeste, please. Name Celestia Ludenberg. Height, 5'5". Five five. Ooh, is she short? Same though. Wait, 101. She's skinny. Chest, 
31. Special ability, ultimate gambler. Q and E. What does that do? Oh! Nice! Junko Enoshima. Name, Junko Enoshima. Height, 57. Same. Weight, 97. Not same. Chest, 81. Special ability, ultimate fashionista. Chihiro Fujisaki. Name, Chihiro Fujisaki. Height, 410. Ah! Is there any? Weight, 90. Chest, 28. Special ability, ultimate programmer. Makoto Naegi. Height, 5'3. Weight, 115. Chest, 29. Show ability, ultimate lucky or unlucky student. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Name, Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Height, 5'9. Weight, 146. Chest, 31. Special ability, ultimate moral compass. Byakuya Togami. Name, Byakuya Togami. Height, 61. Damn, you're tall! <laughs> Wait, 150. Chest, 32. Special ability, ultimate affluent prodigy. Mondo Owada. Name, Mondo Owada. Height, 62. Okay, you win. Wait, 168. Chest, 34. Special ability. Ultimate Biker Gang Leader. Leon Kawada. Name, Leon Kawada. Height, 5'9". Weight, 148. Chest, 31. Special Ability, Ultimate Baseball Star. Hifumi Yamada. Name, Hifumi Yamada. Height, 5'7". Weight, 342. Chest, 59. Nice. Special Ability, Ultimate Fanfic Creator. No, oh, please give me the strength. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Name Yasuhiro Hagakure. Right. Six feet. I I feel like the hair really will put him over six feet. Wait, 157. Chest, 32. Social ability, ultimate clairvoyant. Sayaka Maizono. Name Sayaka Maizono. Right, 5'5. Five, five. Wait, one eight, uh, 108. Chest, 33. Special ability, ultimate pop sensation. Kyoko Kirigiri. Name, Kyoko Kirigiri. Height, 5'6". Weight, 106. Chest, 32. Special ability, ultimate three question marks. I've been calling her the ultimate dick, because she's rude. Aoi Asahina. Name, Aoi Asahina. Height, 5'3". Weight, 110. Chest, 35. Special Ability, Ultimate Swimming Pro. Toko Fukawa. Name, Toko Fukawa. Height, 5'4". Weight, 104. Chest, 31. Special Ability, Ultimate Riding Prodigy. It's so weird that the chest measurements are there. Sakura Ogami. Name, Sakura Ogami. Height, 6'4". Yeah, she's the tallest, let's go! Wait, 218, I love you, girly. <laughs> Just 51, special ability, ultimate martial artist. Sakura is so cool. What's presents? I we have so much. <laughs> we have so much. We have so many. <laughs> Why is there 114? Score press. Proof that you cleared the prologue. Smash that displays the Hope Speak Academy school crest. Nice, we have nothing else. Cool, cool. Let's explore. Is that a lint roller or okay. oh it's a lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. I mean yeah. We have the key to our room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I'm gonna hang on to this for now. There's a notepad. 
I like how they have to make everything jut out more so that way it looks important. I guess we must have given us each one. There's some kind of metal plate about it here. God, there's so much to look at. Let's see if there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. So it's shrink wrapped. I don't really need it right now. I'll just leave it here. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the band. Then every day trash can. I don't see any kind of chapter or hidden compartment or anything. Nice! Cool. The piece of paper hanging on the wall, which says Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Adrian's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. You're making an individual room key is quite troublesome. Be sure not to lose yours. The room comes furnished with the shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night. What the fuck? No! That's the best time to take a shower! Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room in include a lock of their own. How come the gentlemen also cannot get a lock on their restroom? Finally, we prepared a small kit for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. For the boys, a tool kit. That kind of sucks! <laughs> that really, really sucks! The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. And staff will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of those tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. Hold up the shade of paper, throw it in the trash. Okay, and then we have the monitor. Ugh. Also, I'm really glad that the camera is not shining onto the restroom door. That's great. You do the same if you're watching me right now. I love most of the cameras. Better make sure not to touch it. I didn't say anything about taking the paper and hanging it above here, because you're not breaking the camera. Okay. And that looks like everything for here. Plant! Oh, this is the door. It appeared to be the restroom. Hmm? It's not opening. This is locked. It shouldn't be, though. Why would the restroom be locked? I think that should... ...be everything. But the door that leads outside is locked. Oh, so some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand this room must be. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory is seen as sleeping in class and is punished accordingly. This supposed to be my assigned dorm room. Someone scared me here while I was unco- After I fell unconscious. That could you be breaking the rules. So this is that question. This question is. What's everyone else up to right now? I want to find out. Let's get out of here. This is the restroom. Not opening. It's locked. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. There's something out of an old TV show. When? <gasps> Of course, that's the shot they give us. Oh. God. Sayaka? Sup, girly. S sorry. Are you okay? I I'm fine. I'm sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. <laughs> it's not funny. Bro, look at the look at the little guy on the door. <laughs> look at the little guy. 
Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> Wait, it's not worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I managed to build some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. It is good. Um. But are you okay? Yeah, from what? From when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I'm gonna leave my lack of cool right from the beginning. Oh, I guess I removed my lack of cool right from the Lakota. beginning. I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. That's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me. Um, listen. If you're feeling better, I was hoping you'd come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see? If you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. We agreed to get together later and talk about what we'd each found out. That means it's almost time to get back together. What's going on? Then of course, I'll go with you. That's good. Go ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Um... I guess I don't get a map. It's fine. Oh, restrooms. Okay, cool, cool. What the? Where am I? Oh, that way. Oh, good laundry. Let's know we won't fully really stink. Bathhouse. Took Academy. Sorry. This is for the dormitory dining hall. Um, it's pretty clean, so that's good. It's not really important right now, with us being prisoners and all. Yes, room. They're waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. We should just wait for here for now. Okay, there's a way here. You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, you must have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Kind of sudden, I know. Here comes the tutorial. Right now, I would like to talk about reactions. I gotta talk with that there, right? I am. What are you talking? Some purple words are going to appear. Guess how they work. When purple words, when purple words show up, press the white mouse button. We're going to the action mode. Oh, are you familiar with reactions? It's a case can we explain. At this point, you could use WAST buttons to make selection. Press the mouse button to confirm it. And when it comes to dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about. Get more info. I was told about things like this called the reaction. Do your best to enjoy the ever so important school life. Go ahead and use it already. This is wonderful. You should keep it in mind as the story keeps moving forward. I. I will not. <laughs> it's so flat! <laughs> <laughs> Look at how flat she is! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Mm, okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here before we start talking to Sayaka. Hold it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really safe, oh my god. 
Anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you later.